So we are eager to talk with you about anything that matters to you. Nothing is off limits. Nothing is off limits. It is our desire. Not only with those of you who will sit here and we will play with. But it is our desire with each of you that you will soften any resistance to any desire that you hold. Soften any resistance. In other words, the doubt fades while the interest grows. The doubt dissolves while the knowing replaces it. And the result of that is satisfaction. The result of that is a feeling of love, but love is another word that we can't say to you very much because every time we say it, you think we mean what you mean. <laughs> we don't use the word God either because you've got that all sort of mixed up. <laughs> there are so many things that you perceive that we understand why you perceive them because you've been basing your perception on watching the behavior of others and even the behavior of yourself. But again, we want to emphasize that's old news. How anything is happening, how anything is behaving, what's going on anywhere with anyone is old news. So whenever you look at old news, do you know what old news is meant for? Old news is intended by you to be the bouncing off place to the new idea. Because it is the new idea in the making that is the greatest satisfaction of life. To have an idea of something that you desire and not be killing it with your doubt is the most delicious state of being. And then to witness universal forces, call it God force if you must, universal forces joining with your flowing of energy toward the gathering of the cooperative components for the results that you seek in terms of manifestation. Please understand, we are not in any way trying to divert your attention from manifestation. You came for manifestation because you are creators. And manifesting into physical form is the most delicious, most extended version of creation. You're not here without that which is non-physical. All that is non-physical is here with you on this leading edge, enjoying your manifestations. But non-physical is enjoying your manifestations in the making while you are so often yearning for them to come out where you can see them. It would be paramount to putting a kernel of corn in the ground with your knowledge that if it is tended to, that it will become that full plant with ears of corn that you can then harvest and enjoy. But you're stomping on the kernels of corn so often demanding that they come out before you have allowed them the season, the tending, the nurturing, the natural evolution and expansion of the desire. And we want to help you to feel the satisfaction factor in standing in the absence of the manifestation but the knowledge of its becoming so that you don't have to see it in order to believe it. You believe it because you know the process. You believe it because you understand your worthiness. You believe it because you believe in the goodness of all that is. You believe it because you have this knowledge that is coming forth from within. And because you have been practicing the art of allowing for a little while, even though you can't see it, you believe it. And then you'll see it. But if you demand that you must see it before you believe it, then you're going to be stuck in this dissatisfaction mode. And that is the reason that we are here visiting with you. We think you should be happy all day, every day. It is our knowing that you are pure positive energy and we know the eagerness with which you came forth into this physical experience. And if in any moment of time you're not feeling satisfied, joyful anticipation of things that are unfolding, then that means you're pinching yourself off from the part of you that we are referring to as your inner being who is right here enjoying this process of unfolding. You cannot separate yourself from your inner being and what your inner being knows and feel good at the same time. And your inner being knows everything that you have sifted and sorted through the knowing what you don't want and knowing what you do want and the launching of the rockets of desire into this vibrational reality, your inner being is there with you relative to all of those things. There is nothing that you cannot be or do or have 
but if you could just not care about the manifestations as much as you feel about the satisfaction, the feeling of satisfaction as your creative juices are flowing, it would be like a sculpture who is so much more adoring the process of creating the sculpture than the sculpture that has been created. It's the process that gives you life, you see. And you gotta sort of kind of know that because every time, haven't you noticed every time you ask for something and line up with it and it comes, isn't it very short lived satisfaction in terms of it? Aren't you often running on something else again? Didn't your parents say to you, you're never satisfied. <laughs> and they didn't mean that in a good way because they thought that they were the vortex through which you thought all your good could come. And sometimes you thought that too. In other words, your parents weren't misunderstanding you completely. Isn't it a nice thing when you get it that you have the ability and the right and the worthiness. That's the part that we're going to work on with you a little bit today. The worthiness to allow the natural unfolding of the cooperative components assembling to give you anything and everything that you want. And we think that before we're finished today, you'll be as enthusiastic about the process of unfolding as we all are about your process of unfolding. So. What do you want to talk about? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I have had just a phenomenally enjoyable life. And four years ago, I came across your teachings and it just got exponentially more enjoyable. And I can't thank you enough. Um, I heard on a CD a couple years ago, you tell someone, um, he asked a question, you said, well, that really is the only question, isn't it? And so my question is, how can I uh, experience more and more and more joy in my life by knowing about the vortex by knowing about vibration by knowing about what joy is and by caring about feeling good and by using joy as the only criteria that causes you to want to focus upon anything joy is your criteria how true it is is irrelevant how many others are experiencing it is irrelevant what anybody else thinks about it is irrelevant is the thought a good feeling thought so that you're lying in your bed and you're pondering something that you saw on television or something that you heard about or something that you read about or something that you experienced and as you're pondering it it's muting your feeling of joy and you catch yourself with that muted feeling and you say hey hey getting your own attention hey I don't have to think about this right now and then just withdraw your attention from it until you feel the discomfort dissipate as you put your attention on anything anything that feels better than that that's that is the key <coughs> wanting to feel good and knowing what feeling good means because it means everything that's what we were attempting to say in the conversation just before the segment of refreshment that that it, it is so interesting that what everyone wants is to feel good and feeling good is alignment. It, 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 it is alignment and that al alignments, what everyone wants and feeling good is what everyone wants. And they are the same thing. It, it, the, it, the emotion is the key to everything and you have the ability to focus yourself into an emotion. You have the ability to do that. But first you have to accept that you're a vibrational being and that your emotions are about vibration and that the vibrations are about the relationship between you and you and the relationship between you and you is what joy is. And once you get all those pieces together, you've got it. It won't mean that you won't have old patterns of thought that will distract you or old patterns of thought that will, that will make you feel uncomfortable, but it, it means that. So let's say there's someone who's been a thorn in your side. They have been so annoying and, and so you just stop thinking about them. You just stopped thinking about them because every time you thought about them, it was uncomfortable. So you just stop thinking about them. You didn't try to fix the relationship. You didn't try to mend the relationship. You just stopped thinking about them. And you focused upon anything and everything that you could find that took you in the vortex, anything and everything that you could find that took you in the vortex, anything and everything that you could find that took you in the vortex until you just tuned yourself into the frequency of who you really are. And now you find yourself able to think about that person who used to just rip you out of the vortex that used to just tear you up every time. And you don't feel any 
discomfort whatsoever because you've practiced a vibration that makes that opinion that you used to hold that you might have even had valid reasons for holding it it's irrelevant it's not matching up with you you're not rendezvousing with that anymore you see when you think about creation let's talk about so let's talk about coming together in a relationship let a relationship as simple as a conversation with someone in passing that's a relationship so there's a rendezvousing but it's also a rendezvousing when you're thinking about something that's a rendezvousing too because in either case is an active vibration that law of attractions matching with things like it so whether you're rendezvousing in what you call real life experience or whether you're rendezvousing with an idea in your mind or with a memory is still rendezvousing so what when you when you recognize that you're having emotional responses to rendezvous and you have the ability to choose the emotional response that you have now you're in control of all rendezvous did you, did you follow that you have the ability to feel how you choose to feel about everything and most people don't know that most people are having knee-jerk reactions to things that's why they think they need to control other people hey when you do that I feel this way and I don't like it so you need to stop it well that's that's hard There's a lot of trouble in that but when you get it that that nobody has to stop anything that you have the ability to put your mind under any and all conditions in a place that feels good now we'll give it to you, you got to practice but if you will practice it every chance you get you will discover that things that were at one time impossible for people that you couldn't even say their name without going into a rampage about how awful they are you will find yourself just feeling nothing but love about them because there's so much to love about everyone and now you're in the vibration of that if you're gonna think about them law of attraction is gonna insist that you rendezvous with a loving thought about them because you've trained your vibration into love that's freedom that's freedom to train your vibration there to train your vibration there to train your vibration there do it with easy, easy things first cats dogs children babies in other words pick the easy stuff let them help you train your vibration train it into love train it into love train it into alignment train it into alignment train it into alignment train it into alignment and before you know it you will be one who lives unconditional love and then you will be a true uplifter and healer sick people will walk by you and you'll say hi and they'll be better <laughs> confused people walk by and you'll give them your attention and they'll suddenly have a moment of clarity in other words you have that kind of power of influence and you don't have to have an altered body out-of-body experience to have it. <laughs>